Record labels are changing record deals to prevent artists from re-recording their music. This is a response to Taylor Swift's decision to re-record her first six albums, which she had lost control over after her former label, Big Machine Label Group, was sold to Scooter Brown's uh, Iteka Holdings. Taylor Swift's re-recordings, known as the Taylor's Version albums, have been a huge success. They have also been praised by critics for their superior sound quality. This has led other artists to consider re-recording their own music, and some record labels are not having it. To put a stop to that, some record labels have started including provisions in their contracts that prevent artists from re-recording the music for a certain period of time. The legality of these provisions is uncertain, and it is likely that they will be challenged in court. However, they are a sign of the increasing power that record labels have over their artists. Some of the new clauses have now included a no re-recording clause of 30 years in the contract, others no re-recording in perpetuity. Keep in mind the no re-recording used to be 5 to 7 years in some cases, 2 years after the deal ended, whichever is greater. As you already suspected, record labels are opposed to artists that re-recording the music for these reasons. It can steal away sales of the original recordings. It can give artists more control over the music, which is good for the artists but bad for the record labels. Re-recording can be a way for artists to reclaim the music and to make it available to a new generation of fans. And preventing artists to do so prevents them from allowing the art to evolve with time. Despite the concerns, it is likely that this trend will continue. If you are an artist and are signing deals with record labels these days, make sure you read the contract you sign. Some of you just assign trusting blindly, please do not do that. Also, even if your lawyer reads your paperwork for you, still read it yourself. What do you think about these new changes in the music industry? Comment below. That is all we got for you right now. Make sure you subscribe, like, and as always, we appreciate you watching our videos. We will see you in the next one. Bye for now.